Hello there, and in this video we'll take a look at an amazing new Vim plugin called NVim Surround, which allows you to manage surrounding characters like quotes, parentheses, curly braces, etc. This plugin is essentially a modern continuation of Vim Surround, a Vim plugin created by the legendary T Pope. Unlike its predecessor, which was written in Vim script, and Vim Surround is written in Lua, making it better integrated with NeoVim and offering improved performance and maintainability. Installing NVim Surround is super straightforward. Just add the following snippet to your plugin configuration. Setting event to very lazy ensures that the plugin only loads when you actually use it. This helps reduce NeoVim's startup time. And since NVim Surround is designed to work out of the box with no configuration, you don't need to spend time tweaking settings unless you have specific preferences. However, if you want to customize something, you can definitely do that with the help of comprehensive documentation. Now, before we jump to the fun part, I'd like to mention that now I have an X account, where I'm posting my thoughts or memes about NixOS, Linux, and general tech. So if you're interested, you can follow me, link in the description. So, I've created this file to show you main capabilities and use cases. The whole functionality of this plugin can be summarized with these three lines. Plugin basically has three main commands. YS which stands for Use Surround, and allows you to add specific surrounding characters. CS, which stands for Change Surround, and does exactly that. And DS, which is Delete Surround. Now let's take a closer look at YS. It takes two quote-unquote arguments, the motion that we use to define a range for applying the surrounding character, and the character itself. For instance, if you want to surround exactly one word with double quotes, we use you surround inside word double quote. Easy. As you probably know, to apply an operator in Vim for the entire line, you have to double press it. Or if the operator consists of two letters, you only need to double the second one. Same thing works with this plugin. To surround the entire line with quotes, you do YSS quote. Perfect. Moving on, we have CS. That also takes two arguments. What we want to replace and the replacement character itself. For example, to change double quotes to single quotes, you do CS double quote, single quote. No additional steps required. Next we have DS, which takes only one argument, the character we want to delete. This keystroke is line-wise, so you don't have to put your cursor in some kind of specific position to use it. We can easily delete parentheses and double quotes on this line without worrying about moving the cursor at all. With DS we can also delete surrounding characters from the beginning and the end of the line by doubling the S letter. DSS deletes angle brackets from this line. Now let's take a look at shortcuts that this plugin provides. Instead of typing different brackets, you can use lowercase b, which is basically parentheses, and uppercase b, which is curly braces. And also there is an important difference between using opening and closing brackets. Because if you use opening bracket in your keystroke, this will add spaces before and after the surrounding character. With closing bracket, there will be no spaces. Another important feature of this plugin is that it allows you to manage HTML tags. To do that, we use the T letter. For instance, to change tag, you do CST. Then the plugin asks you to write the replacement tag. Let's change it to Q. Press Enter, and as you can see, it was successfully changed. To add new tags, we use the exact same framework as with other surrounding characters. We can specify the motion, but there is usually only one tag on the line, so instead you can just use YSS and T. Let's add the paragraph tag and press Enter. Now to delete the tag, you can just use DST. And the last thing I'd like to show you is that this plugin can work with function calls. You can change the function call with CSF and write the new function in the prompt. Deleting function calls is as easy as DSF. With adding function calls, we can use motions or text objects. For example, to add a function call to this string in double quotes, we can do ys around double quote f and write the new function. And by the way, if you always wondered how text objects and motions actually work, I recommend you to check out my practical NeoVim course, where I have a specific block dedicated to them. With a lot of practical tasks from my course, you will remember how text objects work forever, and you will be able to actually use them in your day-to-day -day workflow. Besides text objects, you will also understand the configuration, operators, advanced editing techniques, and much more. So if you want to actually learn NeoVim and use it, you can find my course in the description of this video. So, we've reviewed some of the most common use cases where this plugin can help you. 
the possibilities are essentially limitless, and we've only scratched the surface here. If you want to dive deeper, be sure to check out the plugin documentation linked in the description. However, the real key to mastering Anthem Surround is consistent practice. The next time you find yourself editing text that involves surrounding characters, tags or function calls, challenge yourself to use this plugin instead of manually typing everything out. By doing this repeatedly, you'll build muscle memory and significantly boost your efficiency. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more new Vim content. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you discovered any cool tricks with Anvim Surround. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.